Hello everybody, my name is Patricia Sanchez, a meteorologist from the National Weather Service here in the Dallas and Fort Worth area. We actually located in the city of Fort Worth and today we want to show you a little bit of what we do every single day. And part of that we also release a weather balloon. So today we want to take you all the opportunity to show you how do we do it, how do we prepare it and how do we release it every single day. So stay tuned and we hope to enjoy it. Thank you. So radio sound observations are commonly known as weather balloons. So we're going to start this video explaining you a little bit what is a radiosonde. As you can see here in this picture, radiosonde is a very small box with different sensors on it. And it's actually going to be suspended over a large balloon that is inflated with hydrogen gas. This sensor can measure pressure, temperature, relative humidity, and GPS position data every single second. So we can track it from a ground antenna on a radio frequency, and we can see it on our computers in our office. Then the signal is converted to different values to get all the information that we need to put in a special code form. So I guess you have wondered why do we need this data and how do we use it? So we need to remember that to understand and accurately predicting changes in the atmosphere, it requires a good observations of the atmosphere and the radio sound provide a primary source of the upper air data and also can be applied to different efforts and applications include computer based weather prediction models severe storms aviation fire weather and marine forecast weather and climate change research air pollution models and it gives the ground truth for solid data so now we're going to take you to show you all the details of how do we prepare and launch the Radiosonde. Stay tuned! So here we are, we've already put the balloon on the nozzle which is right here and we're actually going to put a little bit more hydrogen gas that we usually do just because it's a little bit breezy outside today. So the gas that we use is hydrogen which is highly flammable so we like to make sure this area, the whole inflation building is very secure and there's nothing that's very very flammable that can, can cause harm in the building. So once that's filled up we attach this parachute which will go here to the bottom of the balloon and then this bottom part will go to the radio sound. So this is just because once the balloon is up in the air and it bursts 20 miles up high, the radio sound is going to fall and we need the parachute to help it land safely. So now we'll go ahead and fill up the balloon and we'll see you in a bit. Here we are, the balloon is filling up. I'm sure you can hear the hydrogen going into the balloon. And now um, it takes about five to 10 minutes to fill up the balloon depending on how much gas you're putting in. So in this case, since we put a little bit more gas, it'll take a little bit longer. So now, while the balloon is filling up with hydrogen, we already have our string pre-cut. So this string gets attached to one side of the parachute. And then this string down here, this is a string that will be attached to the bottom of the parachute and then eventually to the radio sound. Now the balloon has finally finished filling up with their 1500 grams of hydrogen and now we're going to tie it off because we don't want the hydrogen to escape before we release the balloon. And sometimes, probably not today since it is summer, it's usually a little difficult to tie these, these balloons off. As you can see we need, do need to do multiple knots. Um, everyone has their own way of doing knots. It's pretty much as long as there's no hydrogen coming out, you're, you're, you're good. So we'll just do a few more knots just to make sure it doesn't get loose. Okay, so now our balloon is ready. So we're going to go back inside to prep the radio sound, make sure the GPS is working, the temperature and the pressure, humidity, everything. And we'll see you guys in a bit. Um, now we have set up the computer here to be able to track um, more efficiently where the balloon is going to take the radio sound. So as you can see, since we have a south wind, we're pointing the antenna northwest. So right now we will go outside and release the balloon and we'll see you out there. Hey guys, uh, we just finished, well Bianca just finished the balloon launch, but we just want to share with you a few funny stories. Uh, 
one time is sometimes it's a little hard to release the balloon because it could be windy, it could be raining, raining and all this stuff. But we actually have some funny stories to share. One time I got it stuck somewhere over there, the antenna. And what do you got it stuck, Bianca? One time I got it stuck over here by that giant tree right over there. That tree. See? Got that... stuck there for like five hours. Oh my goodness. So as you can see, not everything is perfect. So we just try to do our best and we just have fun with it. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching us and you have you enjoy it and I'll see you later. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.